you took your Kohler engine apart and your magnets are not connected to your flywheel anymore. And that cast iron flywheel just happens to be about $500. Do not buy another flywheel. Let me show you how to fix the one you got to save you some time, money, and frustration. All right, guys, today I have a Xmark Laser Z 60 inch commercial zero turn mower. Now this thing is looking a little rough. I got to find a seat for it, but the deck is actually in amazing shape. The transmissions work really well, but what we found with this and the reason the customer gave it to us because he was ready to buy a new mower was that it was not charging, which means while you're riding it, it will just stop running. And, and the reason it does that is because the battery runs the fuel shut off solenoid and the PTO. And so when your battery runs out, of juice you ain't mowing now if you're having issues like this and you have a large Kohler engine on your zero turn this might be your issue we took this Kohler engine off the X mark that we were working on and when we took it apart the magnets had come off of the flywheel and were stuck to the um, stator this is what it looked like in the last video that I did so we got it all taken apart and cleaned up but there is a rhyme or reason to how these magnets go back in there let me show you now, when putting it back in, it's going to go north, south, north, south. Each one of these actually has a magnetism to it that's opposite from the next one. And to find out how to do it, get yourself. These are like $3.50 from uh, Walmart. I will go ahead and put a, a link to one if I can find one. So first we're going to see which each magnet is north or south. And to do that, you're going to put the side of it right in the very center of the magnet. And as you can see, this one is pointing towards north right in the center. But if I move it towards the end, it points south, just like on this side, it points south or north right in the center. So we label this as a north magnet. Now our south ones, they'll be exactly the opposite. When we go into the center, it'll point south and it'll be north on each end. So that way, as it's rotating, it's south, north, south, north, south, north, south, north. That way it fluxes the stator and gets you charging again. Now, we don't see this as much on the Briggs and the Kawasaki's, but this is sort of a common occurrence on the Kohler engines. Now, depending on whatever kind of super glue or Gorilla Glue that you like to use, just find a really good glue and it'll work. As you can see on this one, from it being so evenly spaced out whenever we found it on the stator, the old epoxy obviously failed all at the same time. When it comes to depth, you'll be able to see where they were sitting before and just go off that. So yeah guys, even though it is not fun to remove this engine off a of zero turn, it's a super simple fix once you know what you're doing. And I know you're thinking, gosh, somebody left you a commercial 60 inch X mark zero turn. Yes, they did. And it's not even the half of it. If you haven't seen this video showing all the abandoned equipment that's been left at my shop, check it out right here.